So again, this is 11, this is 11 1. Whoops. 11 1. We're going to do 11 1 and 11 2. So they give you a definition here. And this is going to come into play here in a, in a few minutes. It says volume is the number of cubic units. And what I was about to say earlier, units is what they use instead of inches or feet or yards right now. They just call it units. And it says volume is the number of cubic units needed to pack a solid figure without gaps or overlaps. And it says a cubic unit is the volume of a cube. And so you can see right here, this is made up of cubes. Okay, it's not a prism, just an empty prism. It's made up of separate cubes. So look at this for a moment. I'll pull a couple sticks here. Count how many cubes are in that figure. Miss Dean, what do you think? Um, there is 10. No, there's more than 10. Uh, Miss Clark. Um, Hurry up. Um, I thought it was 10. You thought it was 10 also? Okay, so take a look. First off, they give you the answer right there. Um, and you guys should, should know this by now. The beginning of each section of each chapter, they give a, a couple pages of examples. And so it's 30 units. Well, how do we know that? Look, we can just count them right here. These two are the same. This one's a little bit larger, so I'm going to work with this one. So here's one. This is the side of it. So that's one right there. Here's two. Here's three. And just above it, here's another one right here. This, this is right here is one. And there's two. There's three. So right there in this section, there's six. So in this section, there'd be six more, and six more, and six more, and six more. So it ends up being 30 units. And if you look at the picture carefully, you can count them and, and see that. Okay? So um, I'm not worried about the convince me. You can put a line through that. But since we practiced a few minutes ago drawing rectangular prisms that's going to come into play in this lesson because they ask you to do that so um, look at number one here and I do want you to do number one and I'll have you do number two and number three and number four so look they ask you it says make a model of a rectangular prism with a bottom layer that is three cubes long by three cubes wide and make the top layer that is the same as the bottom layer then draw a picture of your model and what's the volume okay well we talked about this uh, last week and the week before volume I just kinda gave you a, a, a taste for that you guys know that area equals length times width and volume is I heard somebody say it length times width times height okay so it's three so they gave us three by three and then it says um, and then another layer that's on top of it that's the same and you have to draw a picture of it so I'm gonna draw a picture of one that's three by three I'm just gonna draw a square here you guys are gonna be doing this also to answer number one they expect you to draw it It's not perfect. I'm not looking for perfection in your drawings. Okay? I'm going to divide it up into thirds because it's going to be three by three. I'm going to draw two little narrow lines in the front. That's divided up into thirds. And then two more across those. Yeah, they didn't come out too good. I'll make that a little bit lower, maybe. There we go. There's three by three. And I taught you that this angle here should be the same angle as the, the bottom and the top edge. And then same thing here. And then this is going to be in thirds. And then that would be in thirds. So it's not perfect, but you get the idea. It's three by three by three. Well, if we wanted to figure out the volume, 3 times 3 times 3. What's that equal? 27. I could also write it as 3 cubed, which is also 27. 
Okay? But they call it unit cubes. So what's the volume? It's 27 unit cubes. Okay? 27 unit cubes. That's what they're, that's what they're looking for. Now, number two here that I want you to do, it says, what's the difference between a unit cube and a cube unit? Well, it's right here at the top of that page that we, um, that I read and we talked about just a few minutes ago. All right. Number three and four. It says, um, use unit cubes to make a model of each rectangular prism and find the volume. Um, so it says to make a model. Well, you got to draw your own. You got to draw one like number three and draw one like number four. You just have to copy it. Okay, that's pretty easy. But then it does say find the volume. So you're gonna have to figure out the volume. And again, the volume would be unit cubes. And I'll put it right here also for number three unit cubes. Now, in, in 11.2 and, 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 and beyond, we won't be using unit cubes. We'll be talking about feet and inches and yards and miles or whatever. Okay? So figure out the volume for each of those. That's going to go before the unit cubes. Okay? All right. Um, go down to 5 through 13. It says, find the volume of each solid. Use unit cubes to help. Okay, you don't have to draw these. They're just asking you to find the volume. So I want you to do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12, 13. A lot of students in the first class, they asked me about 13. They said, Mr. Glazier, how would you figure out 13? Now, I heard somebody say it. They'd split it in half. You can look at it as two separate figures. Here's one figure. Okay. Figure out how many unit cubes are in that one, and then figure out how many in the lower one, and then add them together. That's how you would do it. Okay. All right. Um, number, or next page. So this is page 460. So I want you to do uh, 14, 15, 16. They're asking you uh, compare the volumes of the prisms, right, greater than, less than, or equal to for each. You can do that. Number 17, I want you to do 17. It says if you added another layer of unit cubes on top of prism A, what would be the volume of the new solid and cubic units? So here's prism A. What they're asking is if you added another one that was identical to A on top of it, how many units would it have? Well, that's, that's pretty easy. Let's look. How many units does it have right now? Uh, yeah, I heard somebody say it. it looks like it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many would it have? 12. 12 16, 16. 16. And this is how you would write it. Unit cubes. Or cubic units, sorry. I, think I had that backwards. I did that in the other class too. Cubic units. Okay. There's 17 done for you. 18. Well, again, you're just going to add them together. 19. Um, we talked about this in my other class, and we're kind of hurting on time here, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I'm just going to say that if you have 471 people and, and two-thirds of them voted for candidate B to find the answer, it's 471 times what? Two-thirds. It's going to equal something. I'll let you guys figure that one out. And um, 
Number 20 here, I want you to do. Miss Kellison's storage closet is three feet long, seven feet high, and she can fit 67. Can she fit 67 boxes that each have a volume of one cubic foot in her closet? So it's going to be three times three times what? Seven, Seven equals something. So answer that question. Number 21. Um, yeah, 21 you guys can do. All right, let's jump into 11-2. All right, 11-2. They talk about something you guys already know. Volume equals length times width times height. They give you that example there. Okay. Now, look at this here. They're talking about base. Just the bottom of that prism, the base. It says it's 24 feet squared. So you would need, if, you, if they just ask you for the sides and the height or the sides and the width of the base, you would have to come up with two numbers that would equal 24 if you multiply them together. Um, if it was really long, okay, maybe it would be 2 times 12. That'd be 24. If it wasn't quite as long, I don't know, maybe it would be what? Six times four. Okay? So that's going to come into play. Whoops. One of the questions later on. All right. Um, not worried about the convince me. Draw a line through that. Let's move down. All right. Guided practice. Not worried about number one. Not worried about number two. So three and four you can do. They're just asking you to find the volume. Do three and four. Well, what's the formula for volume, Mr. Coggin? I no. What's the formula for volume? Volume equals what? Times times height. Okay. So does that answer your question? Yep. You just multiply them together. So I want you to do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do 11. Now look at 11 here. Um, they tell you its thickness, then they tell you these two. So you'd multiply those three together. Now, actually, I'm going to do 11 with you guys. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to have time tonight to do a help video. So let me do 11 right now. It's going to be 3 times 9 times 7. Okay? So, well, first off, what's, what's 9 times 7? So, 63 times what? 3. Okay? 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 6 is 18. So, um, it's 189. Don't put cubic units... What is it? It's inches. Inches. So inches cubed. So there's there's number 11 done for you. Okay, 12 you can do. Um, 13 you can do. 14 you can do. And 15 you can do. All right, I'm going to end this.